stealing cars, boats, golf carts from Hurricane Ian survivors. Thanks for joining us for Fox 4 News at 10. I'm Chris Earle. And I'm Nadine Giannis. Those folks are now out of the Lee County Jail, and they tell Fox 4 what they're suspected of doing is simply not true, they say. These criminals stole vehicles and scammed owners. We didn't do anything wrong at all. So take a look here. These are the cars and other items that detectives say they found on a lot in North Fort Myers during their three-month investigation. And those three also tell Fox Force Caitlin Knapp they didn't steal any cars. Though, as you heard, the sheriff's office and some of the victims say otherwise. It's fraud at every level. A fraud case starting in January with multiple victims involving Blessing Towing, owned by this man. Gurrier Markter. No, I, I haven't done anything wrong. Lee County Sheriff Carmine Marcino says Markter, Zoma Robles, and Joseph Richardson Dunstan came down from Philadelphia. The sheriff's office says they then started towing cars illegally, some belonging to people the hurricane flooded out. One of their scams was they would tow storm damaged cars and lie to the owners that the insurance company sent them. In this police report, it happened at least two times since November. Other items taken were simply just broken down. And that's how the sheriff says detectives traced it back here to Blessing Towing. A large break in the case came when the victim reporting their car breaking down and moved off the roadway vanished. In their investigation, Marcino says they found nine stolen cars, three golf carts, two boats, and one trailer here. Markter admits. Yes, I told them, yes. But says they weren't stolen. Because every car we have, we have paperwork for it. When we asked for proof of paperwork or the business license, he claimed the sheriff's office took it all. According to state records that I found, a Blessing Towing does have a state license that started back in December of last year. And then I contacted the Lee County Tax Collector's Office, and they also have a business account in Lee County. But according to this police report, they violated other towing regulations, among other charges. I don't know, just charges that are not true. 23 charges, including Grand Theft Auto, running a chop shop and more. The company is also accused of doubling their prices, as Lee County does regulate towing prices. You get that select few who don't want to help, they want to prey on people. Two of the suspects we talked to say they plan on fighting all the charges in court. Reporting in North Fort Myers, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.